You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Here is a complete video of a maker set from start to finish. If you want to skip ahead to specific points in the video, then check the description below for skip times. Enjoy! Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop and we made it to the Hostess Twinkies Maker. It says now you can bake Twinkies at home and includes the pastry bag and directions and uh, the recipe booklet. And as you can see, it's a self-contained Twinkie Baker. And uh, there's the side of the box. The back exactly the same as the front. Yep, looks exactly the same. And then this side, exactly the same. So why don't we just uh, see what this unit is all about. Just get it out of the box. All right, let's get the box out of the way. Here is the Twinkies pastry bag. And there's the instruction booklet. Let's just take a look. Ah, oh, pretty neat, huh? It says Hostess Twinkies on the top. Let me get that there. And show you that. How come you don't want to sit flat? There we go. Put that on clips. And there is the Twinkie Chambers there. Let's just see. Let's go over a couple things. Right now I'm just taking the the bag out to see what that's all about. Looks like there's other tips for decorating. And then the the bag for the filling. See? Hostess Twinkies. This looks like the tip you're going to use to fill your Twinkies. These must be for other recipes. Let's just take a quick look at the booklet. There is the congratulations. You are now proud owner of the new Hostess Twinkies Maker model number Host 1TW. Oh, nice. Here's all the parts. Uh, read all instructions. Uh, let's see. Important safeguards before initial use. That's what we're going to have to do that. Uh, clean the appliance with warm soapy water. So I'm going to have to take that and do that. And then cleaning and care, things to do and not to do, how to, how to operate. Before first use, wipe down all surfaces with damp cloths, find a dry suitable level surface. Now, okay. It says the cooking plate should be lightly coated with a small amount of vegetable oil. Vegetable oil can be applied with a paper towel, brush, or nonstick oil spray. The oil will help protect the nonstick quality of the cooking surface. This should be done periodically. All right. Prepare the batter for Twinkies. Where's that? Helpful hints. Oh, here we go. Recipes. Baking tips. This is what I need to get here. The classic Hostess Twinkie. That doesn't uh, doesn't show the frosting or the inner filling. Oh, there's the filling. Filling recipe. So there's also a red velvet Twinkie, which we're not going to do today, and a chocolate Twinkie. Marshmallow fluff. And then here's all the other makers in this series. We actually have the... Uh, pretzel maker too. I'm not sure if it's from the same series. I think so. So that's coming up another day. So let's uh, let's get going here. So I'm going to wash this, get all my ingredients in here, and make some Twinkies for you. I'm all ready to go. I have all my ingredients ready. I just wanted to show you and go over the list with you. We have one and a half cups of all-purpose flour, one teaspoon of baking powder, a half a teaspoon of salt, a half a cup unsalted butter, and then uh, one cup granulated sugar, two large eggs plus one extra egg yolk. That's probably going to give us the more yellow. Two teaspoons of vanilla extract and three quarter cups of milk. So the first step now is to do the, um, the butter and the sugar. So I'm going to move these all out of the way here off to the side so I have them handy. And then uh, we'll get in our mixing bowl and get started. So everything has been at room temperature. So here we go. Don't put the sugar in. And then a stick of butter. It's nice and soft. All right, it says uh, with a hand mixer until light and fluffy. So I'm going to do that.
Now it doesn't give you a specific time. It just says to light and fluffy. So I'm not feeling light and fluffy yet. So I'm just going to keep going here. I guess it is starting to change a little now. A little happier with that. Looks lighter now and fluffier. There we go. I'm gonna take that as lighter and fluffier. So the next step now is to, it says add egg, egg yolk, which I have all together, and then vanilla extract. And just uh, beat till incorporated. So we'll do that now. We'll start that on low. So incorporated just means all the ingredients are mixed together. I don't want to over mix this stuff. I would say that's pretty good. And it says scrape the sides of bowl. So we're going to call that one good to go. Okay. Alright, that's good. Here, we'll use this as our holder. We'll have to clean that off a little bit better. It says add flour, baking powder, salt, and milk. Mix on low speed. So flour. Get the smaller ingredients in there. Salt. Baking powder. I'm going to put the milk in. And I'll just add the flour a little bit at a time here. Looks like a nice batter we have now. Okay, that's pretty well incorporated. Looks like a nice mix. Let me uh, scrape it one more time real quick here. And that's gonna get some of that extra stuff I had on my spatula. Just mix it a little bit more. All right. Looks good. Looks creamy. Now I chose this mixing bowl because it's got a pour spout on it because I need to pour this into the machine. So I would say right now Clean the beaters off. We're good. So I'm going to clean up now, get the machine in here, and go on to the next step. All right, I have the unit all set to go now. It says plug in unit, so let's do that. You'll see a light on the front. Okay, so this red light just came on. Not sure if you see it there. Uh, spray with vegetable oil. Okay. So we have a little bit of that. We got some spray. Okay. And then fill each, uh, let me see, uh, fill each cavity until three quarters full. So let's get in there and do that and see what that's like. Three quarters full. That's why I chose this pitcher so I can hopefully easily pour it in there. I did say on the first use you might get some smells and smoke that you're not used to, so I'm just going to put a little bit in each so that I 
see how they fill. It looks like the direction said it makes eight, so this holds six. I might spoon in a little bit later. A little more. I do smell the unit starting to do its thing because it's uh, heating up now. Three quarters. That's probably three quarters, so we'll do them all about that. Here, let me change my angle here because it's hard with my hands here above. Rather you just see it pouring in, right? Okay. It looks like and sounds like they're already starting to cook on their own. A little overspill there. Okay, let's see. That one looks good. That one looks good. Good. They look about three quarters, maybe a little bit on the back one. So I'll just scoop a little in. There you go. I think we're good. So just close the lid. I'll set the timer. You could hear it now. Something's starting to uh, something's starting to go. Let me just uh, get this out of here. Okay, close it up and lock it down. And now I have four to seven minutes. So I'm gonna set my timer off to the side. And uh, I wanted to bring in a Twinkie. We picked up some Twinkies so we can do a comparison to a regular Twinkie. Here is a Hostess Twinkie. I still need to wipe down my tabletop and clean up, so after I show you this, we will clean up. Oh, it all stuck to the bottom. So we're going to have to fill them like this, and then we'll compare them, but I might as well eat one for a memory, you know, so I can remember what they taste like. All right, so I will check back in probably four minutes and take a look at them. All right, it's been four minutes and 30 seconds, so I'm going to check on my Twinkies here. Now, it did say check to see, like you normally would with any cake. And there's still some in there, so... I'm going to um, let it go a little bit longer, so we'll check back shortly. All right, I'm all set. It's been the full seven minutes now, so let's take a look. Nice and golden brown. Let me check another one here. I think by now, yes, they do just feel better. Looks good. So it says just uh, take them out and then let them cool. So I'm going to get them out of here. Don't know how easy that is, though. There we go. Ooh. They're hot. They didn't give you any kind of tool. I had this tool from another set, so... Ooh, flip right over into that one. Look at that. Come on. Yeah, they're hard to get out. would say they'd have to have a better tool for this. This Twinkie fell over and is shot now. Can you believe that? It's hard to work around the camera too, so normally I'd have my hand in there. It'd be easier to do. There we go. I'll try to salvage that other one. I have some extra dough, so I'm going to probably make a few more while these are cooling. See, it's hard to do with my camera in the way. Ooh, hot. So now we have to fill them. So I'm going to show you how to make the filling next. Ooh, this came out good. Let's see if we could salvage this one. Doesn't want to, doesn't want to play nice. There we go. Ooh, I think I have it and then everything falls to the wayside. There we go. Well, you know what? I'm going to leave that one out. I think that's worthy of trying nice and warm and toasty. So let's move this out of the way. I'm going to eat the one that I broke apart. It's 
So here's what we have. There's a nice looking one. And then looking at a real Twinkie, here's a real Twinkie for comparison's sake. I'm going to give this a taste while it's warm. Mm. It's hard to tell while it's warm. What it tastes like to me is like a pancake almost. Probably better to let them dry, I mean let them cool down. So what I'm going to do now is let these cool, I'm going to make a few more, and then we're going to fill them. Here we go, I'm all set to make the vanilla cream frosting, I have all my ingredients here. I ended up making six more Twinkies to accommodate the one that flipped over and disintegrated in front of your eyes. I guess that can happen in any baking experience. So what we have is three tablespoons unsalted butter, three tablespoons vegetable shortening, one teaspoon of vanilla, one cup of light corn syrup, and then one cup of powdered sugar. So that is going to make the frosting. Now this is a real Twinkie, so I'm going to set that back there. And this one here turned out to be one of the best Twinkies that came out. So I'm going to move my stuff out of the way and get set, because they want you to incorporate the uh, vegetable shortening and the butter first. There's that until blended. That's all it says, until blended. Now blended should not take long. Okay, to me, that's blending. It says, turn the mixer down to its lowest setting. Gradually add the powdered sugar. So that is one now. A little bit more to go. Let me dump the last of it in. So here's what we have so far. It says until incorporated again. So that's real close. Once incorporated, Turn mixer on the highest speed and beat until light and fluffy for five minutes. So I'm just going to do this now and then uh, I'm not going to go the whole five minutes so you don't have to trudge through this here. I'll do some and then I'll edit the video and check back in. All right, checking back in now. It's been about uh, a minute and a half, so starting to look pretty good there. Light and fluffy, and I think uh, we'll check back in at four minutes, okay? All right, here we are. I'm down to the last, uh, like, 30 seconds. It's definitely light and fluffy now, as you can see. There's good peaks there. It holds its shape in the bowl. So the next step, it says, uh, gradually beat in vanilla extract. And that's off to the side here, so let me move this in. And uh, the last ingredient is the corn syrup. Now it says, uh, until the filling is the consistency of mayonnaise. Imagine that, mayonnaise about two minutes more so we'll just uh, put this in and 
see how it handles it. I like the light and fluffy better than the mayonnaise consistency. So two minutes looking like mayonnaise, and I think we're, I'm sensing it. Let me go back to full speed again. I'm having a hard time with this. It's a thick, definitely a thick mayonnaise looking consistency. So I'm going to go two minutes now. Okay, I'm back. I have it now to the mayonnaise consistency. That seems kind of weird to me. I don't know why. I had different expectations, I think, over expectations when I first saw this kit, like, Ooh, I'm going to get some really cool Twinkies. But I think there's going to be some good points here, so I'll point those out later. Let me uh, go to the next step. It says fill the pastry bag. So let's do that. And then inject into your Twinkies in three different spots. Let me get my spatula here. That's enough. So there we go. Now this was washed before I started, so you know. Okay, so injecting the Twinkies. That sounds like a, that's going to be the fun part. In three different spots, so let me get my bag ready. And here is uh, one of our Twinkies. I'll just go till it pops out. Two. So what was I going to say? Yes. Um, this is nothing like a Twinkie, believe it or not. I know you're all shocked. But my expectations were that it was going to be, you know, mm, tasty. So there's one. It is tasty, by the way. But the good things. Here's the good things. One. You can use your own ingredients. You don't have to use a store-bought Twinkie, which, you know, does have a lot of stuff in it that a lot of people don't like. Uh, two, if you're allergic to something in a Twinkie, you can make your own and, you know, experiment and come up with your own recipes. So that's pretty cool. There's two. Here is number three. We'll cut one open. We go it's running out and I think that's uh, you know that's all the fun part about it if you have the expectation like I did that hey you're gonna have the best looking Twinkies ever and they're gonna taste and match the store-bought version don't buy this set that's for sure but if you're gonna experiment have allergies want to use your own uh, recipe you can Maybe do some other different fun things with it. Oh, I don't like that one. We'll do this one here. Looks like it's coming out. Yeah, it's coming out. I do have to do six golden Twinkies, right? I wish Butch were here. He wanted to really try these, but, uh, you know, maybe next time we... If we break this set out again, try another recipe and do more experiment. Right, this is the this is the first time I've ever tried the machine. Okay, so there's my six Twinkies. Now let me go back to the first one and see when I break it. Yeah, not a lot in there. So I'll probably Yeah, the mayonnaise consistency. Eh, I don't like that. That doesn't seem like fluffy. Twinkie filling to me. Just the thought of mayonnaise in my Twinkie. I'm just seeing if I really try to fill this and if it's any better. Okay, let's see. 
Yeah, same kind of thing. Let me try one of these uh, homemade Twinkies with the filling, but I'm going to put some more filling on the inside here and eat it that way. Mm, tastes like a pancake. There's a, no comparison really to this, a real Twinkie. Look at that, see? That's a creamy filling, nothing like mayonnaise and this, which is uh, like a pancake batter. But like I said, you know, if you're allergic to something or you like experimenting, maybe you can get to the exact Twinkie consistency that they have here. So there you go. That is the six Twinkies. Thanks for watching. It's really appreciated. Later. If you want to find this item, click the link in the description area below the video. You can also watch more videos in this series by clicking here. Thanks for watching. And always remember, if you see a lucky penny, pick it up.